Good morning, babies. Hi, how are you? Or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, wherever you are, whenever you find this. This message is timeless. So whenever you find it, it's the right time. Use your own tuition, use your own discernment, you know, that type of stuff. If it's not your message, it's not your message. Don't make it fit, babes. Love you. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Um, the first song that I got on Shuffle was Greener Pastures by Brothers Osborne. Wish I could say it was gonna get better, but we ought to know better by now. Gonna pack my shit into a cardboard box and get the hell out of this house. Gonna roll on the road, hit more than that county line. This whole world has gone to pot and right now so am I. <laughs> I'm moving on to greener pastures, getting stones so it don't matter. I tried praying to the man up high. I tried drinking till the well ran dry. I'm moving on to greener pastures. Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't know what took so long to say so long to you. All you do is wear me out just like the evening news. So you can plant your garden where you used to chew my ass. Yeah, I don't want this dirt no more. I'm trading it for grass. I'm moving on to greener pastures. <laughs> Getting stoned so it don't matter. I'm been praying to the man up high. I tried drinking till the well ran dry. I'm moving on to greener pastures. Break it down. <laughs> uh, roll it up, light it up like a little toke take a little toke hit it till it all goes up in smoke puff puff pass it around back to myself right now i'm moving on to greener pastures okay so what i'm getting is somebody's moving on somebody's finally getting the hint because what i have here <laughs> we have child Then we got express it in reverse and then commitment. So uh, this may just be like a clear, like um, confirmation kind of like, yeah, that happened to me or this is about to happen. You know, take it how it resonates. It could always like these energies could always be just like a confirmation. Like it happened a while ago and you know, this is just like, yeah, okay. That, that was me. Thank you for clarifying that. Or, it's about to happen. You're you're in the midst of it or, you know, you're going to do this. Um, so what I'm getting from that child, express it in reverse and commitment. You're seeing that someone's very immature. They don't want to express stuff with this express it in reverse. And um, <laughs> they don't want to express like for the commitment. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. It could be, you know, friendship, family, um, not just lover. But yeah. Um, <laughs> And then shortly after that, we have, I don't want to do the work. So, and you're realizing, especially because we have give it back to God. So I'm seeing that two ways. Um, you see that this person, people, this group doesn't want to do the work. They don't want to do the physical work. You're tired of doing all the work and like meeting them, you know, halfway or whatever. And whatever side you're on. Um, I know for sure there's some pretty low vibe people that watch these videos as well. So they might be, you might be the one that's not wanting to do the work and getting left. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> you might be not wanting to do the work. You might be immature. So that might be something you need to look at. I'm sure I'm going to get some keyboard warrior, little internet gangster <laughs> on me for saying that, but it's something to look at. Um, and this seriously keeps coming up, y'all. So, like, please, this might be something to look into. We have mother, um, you know, I've had several messages, like, that all, um, these behaviors, these, like, the immaturity, the cheating, um, and on both parties, you know, the victim or the abuser, whatever you want to, however you want to, 
just so we can kind of like separate it. But there's, you know, fault on both sides, I'm sure. But both of them have mommy issues. <laughs> so it's definitely something to look into. And I'm seeing this as a way to break past um, these passed down um, problems or addictions. And uh, I can't quite pinpoint the word I want to use, but these, these behaviors from your maternal line, from your mother's side. And we have, you make me nervous. So I'm seeing that with the mother. Um, that was, you know, what was holding you back from leaving sooner. Because how that song Greener Pastures said, I don't know what took me so long. Um, yeah, I don't know what took me to so, so long to say so long to you. All you do is wear me out just like the evening news. So you can plant your garden where you used to chew my ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't want this dirt no more. I'm trading it in for grass. Um, that's from that maternal side. Because I've been getting this in like every message. So almost, I should say. The last two I didn't. But it's it's popping up. It's showing up. So this is something to look at. And that may have been what was holding you back. Was this you know behavior. This thought process. This way of thinking. This way of being. Existing that came from your mother's side. And I'm also getting like the behavior of the other person, you know, the immature person also came from that mother's side as well. The not wanting to do the work. Um, they may have been coddled by their mother, you know, or um, the mom had very intense uh, insecurities. Um, so she didn't want her children to not like her. So she didn't parent her children. <laughs> She's like, be my friend. <laughs> Instead of, you know, parenting him. However it resonates for you. Um, but I'm definitely getting, so that like hanging out too long or, you know, afraid to leave. Me, um, you know, that may, you make me nervous of that. And too, too nervous to leave. Too like, oh, what happened? What if this happens? What if this uh, what if they get better? You know, that's that's from that maternal side as well. Um, we have learn and listen in reverse. So this person never learned to listen. Um, <laughs> and you fucked around and found out in reverse. So, you know, you, you got you got the message and we have divine feminine in reverse as well. So that's telling me. fuck boy in reverse so that's just telling me this wasn't a divine person we have insecure underneath that they never learned to listen you know they may you may have told them the behaviors and you, that may have been just you know most high telling them hey you know you need to check yourself before you wreck this and they still chose to um act in that way so you're moving on to greener pastures the other song I got was Let the Rain Come Down. It's the Steel Woods version. So it's by the Steel Woods, one of my favorite bands. They are great in concert. Um, we all need rain, Lord, the sun show stings. Somebody string a rattlesnake up. Good Lord, my whole world ran dry. The day that wicked old witch said bye, she put a curse on me. One on the river, now my crops won't grow no more. Got a hollow heart, pocket full of nothing. My soul won't rest and my eyes won't pull. Let the rain come down. I should have been long gone cold turkey. Now I'm sitting on the front porch stone. Looking back now, the past was murky. It ain't no wonder why my money's all gone. She put a curse on me. One on the river. Now my crops won't grow no more. I got a hollow heart, pocket full of nothing. I love the song. <laughs> I'll stop singing so I don't run out of time. Um, Look yonder to the west, I can feel it in my bones. Here comes a hard rain just to blacken out the sky. And I'd run for shelter if it wasn't me. Better pay, pay heed to the past or wind up dry. She put a curse on me, one on the river. Now my crops won't grow no more. So <laughs> what I'm seeing here is 
the it's just interesting how both songs was like yo i'm leaving and then the let the rain come down is um uh she left you know they left so i'm getting that um this is the other person that got left and they are just like getting hit with they're getting hit with lessons they're learning now they're like but see how it says she put a curse that wicked old witch said bye she put a curse on me one on the river now my crops won't grow no more i got a hollow eye a pocket full of nothing my soul won't rest and my eyes won't pour let the rain come down they want to cry they want to have this release but it's just like bubbling up <laughs> I should have been long gone cold turkey. Now I'm sitting on the front porch stone. They didn't listen. You know, you may ask, like, hey, can you stop doing drugs? Like, this is just, you know, superficial. It could have been, hey, can you stop doing drugs? Like, can you stop drinking so much? Or can you treat me better? You know, that's such a blanket statement, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you, you know, you had all these requests and, like, you gave all these, like, helpful hints how to love you or how to be a good person to them you know family member friend whatever how tell you how it resonates partner they still chose to not listen and you know i should have been long gong long gong long gong <laughs> long long damn it. long gone cold turkey so like you should have been they sh i should have been sober i should have listened i should have quit doing that the kids are getting hit with lesson after lesson. It's like they're feeling so much. And I'm I'm getting that like my eyes won't pour. It's like I just, my soul won't rest. My eyes won't pour. They want to feel, they want release, but they can't get it because it's just, it's hitting them. They're like lesson after lesson after lesson. Um, I'm getting this. This is probably going to be more future than anything. And especially with that, they're not able to make that connection that this is why and you know if this is the person watching this is why because you didn't listen you were given all the tools all the information you just didn't listen um looking back now the past was murky it ain't no wonder why my money is all gone she put a curse on me one on the river now the crops won't grow no more i have a hollow heart a pocket full of nothing my soul won't rest and my eyes won't pour They're gonna eventually learn what happened, but they're still blaming the little to curse. It's this, it's that. They did this to me. They're not taking responsibility for some reason. I mean, I really don't like reading on the other side of this, but I get a feeling there might be a lot of people that are watching <laughs> that need to hear that as well. I'm, I'm kind of getting I've got both sides watching uh, nowadays. So, um... Look young, yonder to the west. I can feel it in my bones. Here comes a hard rain just to blacken out the sky. I'd run for shelter if it wasn't me. Better pay heed to the past or wind up dry. What the hell? So like it's learning the lesson. Looking back and being like, damn, that was me. If it blackened out the sky, I'd run for shelter if, it, if I wasn't me. So you need to take responsibility and, you know, pay your karmic debt. You know for this person that was on that side of things um better pay heed to the past or wind up dry she put a curse on me one on the river now my crops won't grow no more yeah <laughs> that's so interesting that i'm getting both sides of this so apparently that needs to happen um with this four of wands here that's telling me that they're they might be doing some like you know, there's missing of like the good times and um, seeing that it was, you know, there was possibility and growth for a good relationship, a good connection, but they're still not wanting to fully take responsibility because they're still like, oh, who that wicked witch, that bad person left me. Um, when they're not looking at, you know, like with the greener pastures, with the other side of the song, you know, the other side of the story is, um, <laughs> wish I could say I was, it was going to get better, but ought to know better by now. 
gonna pack my shit into a cardboard box and get the hell out of this house. Gonna roll on for the road, hit more than the county line. This whole world has gone to pot right now and so am I. And <laughs> it's kind of funny how both of them are talking about smoking weed. So <laughs> like make sure that, you know, whoever on both sides of the story that you don't um, lean on addictions and um, self-destructive behaviors to deal with this. This was meant to happen. I'm also seeing that with this four of wands. This was meant to happen to bring you to you fulfillment. So you had to learn this lesson. Um, we ought to, but we ought to know better by now. Like now you know not when not to hang out too long. And by leaving something so awful, instead of repeating that maternal pattern of staying too long, Maybe you did stay too long, but you broke it. You broke free and or are going to by breaking through and breaking away from this of, oh, you make me nervous from that mom side, the mother side. By breaking through that, you're breaking a generational curse, a generational pattern. So it's meant to happen this way. And you're seeing the truth with this Ace of Swords, especially with the greener pastures. Um, I'm seeing that on both sides, both people, you know, however this happened, um, both people are seeing the truth, like, damn, this wasn't going to work. You were exhausting. I don't know what took so long to say so long to you. All you do is wear me out just like the evening news. So you can plant your garden where you used to chew my ass. Yeah, I don't want this dirt no more. I'm trading it for grass. Um, you're like, man, this was exhausting we weren't a good fit. I'm out. Like this was the truth. I got to We got to cut through this. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing with the hands being cut off. It's like, uh, I feel like they used to cut people's hands off for th being thieves. So it's like, you know, you felt this person was like stealing from you, like, you know, stealing your future because you were hanging so hanging around so long, wasting your time. Um, and we have the hangman in reverse. I'm seeing that as the person, uh, the, both sides. So the person that didn't want to do the work, the child, you know, that didn't want to express their their love for the commitment. Um, they didn't want to do the work. Um, they're finally, things are fi finally starting to shift. They might be making small changes in regard, you know, just, or they're just trying to run back because they're like, oh, you were my person but I didn't do any of the work. I just realized now that I love you or I care for you. I want to be in your life again because I'm getting slapped left and right by lessons, but it might be you being away forever is the lesson and that they have to accept this and that they can't treat people like this. Um, you know, if you're, you got to learn the lesson, like how we had before of, you know, you fucked around and found out you if you don't listen then people are just gonna get sick of it and sick of you not doing anything because i'm seeing that as they were in this hanged man energy of just hanging around not doing anything you have to actually bend a little and be you know meet people halfway instead of just expecting them and manipulating them into working for you and the way you want things so gotta learn that lesson and both sides of this party, <laughs> of this story, um, of this, you know, this timeline, they need to learn to open their heart again. Uh, I'm seeing the more immature person that didn't want to do the work as, um, and you know, we're all immature. So let, we'll, we'll say that because I don't want to be like bashing you, especially knowing, getting the feeling that both sides of this party are watching. Um, you have to learn to open your heart and be more willing to um, meet people halfway in these situations. Meet others and, you know, give give to get, you know, instead of, oh, well, I'm only going to give if they meet all of this whole list of things to, you know, prove that they love me. You have to put yourself out there in vulnerability. Um, you have to be willing to be vulnerable. You have to be willing to open your heart again. Yes, you've been hurt before. So what? Learn from it. That doesn't mean you need to be closed off and calloused and 
you know, continue to hurt people and then go through this cycle again where, you know, I'm definitely getting, because that could be also, that's how you learned from your mommy <laughs> that you stay closed off and, you know, use people. I'm getting maybe a lot of people had mothers that um, use people for money. Um, so that's how they saw it. So, or they use them for, you know, security when they didn't actually love them, like love the other person that they were with. So that created, you know, you got to see both sides of that, you know, maybe the father was, didn't do the work or, and the mom didn't. And so you had, you know, we all have jacked up parents, Let, let's be honest. <laughs> but I'm seeing that, um, there was definite, like, you know, mothers staying in a relationship because of money or, you know, hopping from guy to guy because of money or, um, stability instead of finding that independence and, you know, nurturing themselves first. I'm also seeing with the mother staying too long in relationships where the person was cheating or not wanting to do any of the work. So it was a loveless, you know, passionless marriage or connection. So definitely, you know, whatever resonates for you, that's something to look at and open your heart and move past. That's how, you know, you're, this whole situation happened so you can break that curse of mommy issues, basically, you know, whatever um, trauma or I guess um, thought processes, behavioral patterns, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Survival methods <laughs> um, that you gain from your mother's side, that maternal side. This all happened, this awful, weird, like, man, this person did not want to listen to me. This, you know, and it, it may have like this, if you reflect, it might have an, the eerie resonance of, you know, what your parents looked like or what you've witnessed in other relationships growing up. If you didn't have your parents or whatever, it was something you witnessed. It's because you were meant to break through that. You were meant to break that curse, break that cycle, that karmic cycle that has been passed down from generation to generation. You were meant to break that. That's why all of this happened. It's not a curse. It was meant for you to learn the damn lesson. <laughs> learn. Learn to listen. <laughs> if someone tells you they're a fuckboy, they're a fuckboy. <laughs> if someone shows you that they're not a divine being, they're not a divine being. You don't have to stay. And, you know, if you're using somebody for security or money or whatever, you need to find stability on your own. Work through this insecurity with insecure. All right. And this is going to get you to happiness. I really have to go. <laughs> but don't worry. You do need to stay disciplined, though. This is, you know, if the, this is a huge curse, you know, generational curse, whatever you want to call it, um, pattern, uh, thought process, survival method, you got to stay disciplined with that <coughs> if you want to reach peace. And this peace card had fallen on the child express it in reverse commitment. So you, by you seeing the truth in this, oh, they don't, they're immature. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to express their love to me. I know they love me. That's why I hung around, but they never wanted to express it. By seeing the truth and, you know, swallowing that uncomfortable, ragged, <laughs> jagged, giant pill. <laughs> And just seeing the truth of the matter is you you overlooked a lot of things. You were, and now you got to learn to open your heart again with this two of swords in reverse. Even though you're callous and you're like, bro, I do not want this to happen again. I'm tired of, <laughs> you know, fuck around and find out in reverse when it just goes to shit. Like, I don't, I don't want that. I'm tired of it. But the only way to reach peace and, you know, do these things is by putting yourself out there again. All right, babies, I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep doing that hard-ass work. Love you. Bye.